Hi everybody, lovely to see you again. Today I am really lucky because I have Tijan guesting Hello. and we're going to have a lot of fun yes. chit-chatting. We filmed a video together on Tijan's channel about holiday luxury beautiful beauty things. Products. Yeah. So, yeah, so like summer summertime slash holiday beauty luxury products. So we thought we'd stay with the same theme about going away, but this uh, video is going to centre more around getting yourself in the right mindset and getting prepared to go away on holiday. Yeah, the, the leading up to it, I suppose, isn't it? As opposed to the Yeah, holiday. just getting, you know, checklisting, and making sure you're doing the right things and also just trying to enjoy the holiday rather than frantically preparing so much and then that week's over and done with and it's like, oh, is that it? Is it gone? So don't, like, fret too much about all of the things that you're supposed to do before yeah, you go away. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, Tijan, as you're guesting, I would like your tips first. The thing that I've been really enjoying for the last couple of months and that you have as well is this, and it's a protein, nourishing protein powder by the Super Elixir, which is um, Elle McPherson's brand, and it's all organic, it's totally vegan friendly, so unlike whey protein, which I think has got lots of milk and stuff in. I, I don't, don't really know, know very much about these things. All I know is that no. I would stay away like absolutely yeah. never well, ever. Anyway, so it has like brown rice and sprouted pea protein, mm. um, but it's also got Peruvian chocolate, which gives it, sorry, Peruvian cocoa. Cacao, cacao that gives it um, a really nice flavour and what you can do is you mix this and you put it in a blender or Nutribullet with some almond milk and blueberries and bananas which is what we do and you can supplement it um, for a meal. Supplement like, a meal for sorry, it. Sorry yeah yes. supplement a meal for it like breakfast or lunch and it keeps you quite satisfied and full uh, but without making you bloated or anything else and I wouldn't recommend doing it every day but maybe once a week or twice a week and as you are closer to your holiday you can maybe do it a little bit more and uh, it just gives you kind of all the nutrients that you need. I think it also helps with your metabolism as well. Mm. That's um, if you want to try and lose a few pounds. Yes, I or mean, if you I mean, if you just want to have a... Or feel a little bit healthier, lighter. Yeah, a healthier lunch or breakfast or if you're in a rush. So yeah, I think this is a really actually great thing and everybody else who I've spoken to that has it or has tried it has pretty much finished it by now as well because it just tastes so good. It's like a frozen yogurt. I, w I've got a few tips actually with this. I've never done any of these shakes, supplements in my mm. life ever. So when Tijan suggested we try this, I was really sceptical. That, that's not something I'm, it's, it's not in my radar. radar. But um, I, I've not done any research on it. Obviously, it's only you know for for to, to Jean knows more about it. I'm I'm a bit of a believer in a, a name like Elle McPherson. I don't mm. think she put her name to something like this unless no. uh, she had really researched no, I think it, it, had it, it correctly. Was definitely, with what they worked with a lot of nutritionists on making sure yeah. that it was a good. So I think you know if if we're going to talk about wanting to maybe um, trim down a little bit. I've actually got really strong feelings about that as well, and strong mm. opinions, and the way that we're kind of almost forced to be get beach body ready. I hate that, yeah. I really hate that. And you see all these women's magazines and things flashing about all over the place. Yeah, it's horrible. They and it so makes much you feel, yes. And so I think, you know, sometimes people go away more last minute and they've only got a week or two to prepare. And really, I suppose getting beach body ready shouldn't even exist. I think we should just try and be looking after ourselves all year round. Yeah. Try and be relatively fit and help, uh, healthy. Not necessarily work out, but if you know you're going away, you're not going to have time to pound the gym and do all no, of these toning exercises. No. So maybe something like this, something that which help you feel a bit better about yourself if you're feeling a bit bloated. And it tastes it delicious. Tastes really nice. But yes, to go back to that sort of beach body. Pre preparation. It, it, it's, a, it's a bit of an enslavement for people. It is, and it's not, not very necessary, I don't think. Well, have that pressure, to put that pressure on you when you want to just go away and enjoy yourself. So I think what, what I wanted to talk about was oh, yes, th 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 well, things that you can, things that you can do. If you want to trim and tone, yeah. there are some really interesting quick blasts, and in actual fact, that's what they're called, isn't it? Yeah. Now, Tijan again introduced me to this. She found a YouTube channel a few years ago, um, and her name is Harry Melon. No, no, no. <laughs> Beautiful blast. 
Um, and she, she it, also, well. well, she also trains lots of the Victoria's Secret angels, that, um, and it's like meant to give you like long, lean, toned muscles. She trained. Um, yeah, what's the her name for the Black Swan? Oh, did she? Yes, yeah, she did. Yes. Um, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Yeah, yes. she did. She, so that's another yeah, no, and it claim to Really, play. really good. And basically she does um, online classes that you can sign up for, but she has these little short 15 minutes but on YouTube that you can use I think are just as good. And well, we've been doing enough. that for about two years. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm not a great one for exercising. I don't like getting sweaty in a gym and hot. And I think it's just really one of those things that you ought to try and stay just walk mm. do, do the kind of things you can do that if you're a gym bunny great mm. don't stop but just because you have a holiday coming up don't yeah. nobody we, we've got to work we've got to get on with our lives people don't have the time what I really like about this is it's a 15 minute um, uh, sort of program yeah but before we filmed this I, I checked out a few other things that she does and it's really interesting this there's segments of five or six minutes for certain she does, like, arms body parts. Or abs, yeah, she does targeted areas. Yeah. There's a really good inner thigh one, which I did yesterday, and it's really it's hard. The thing is, when she says, um, she introduces one of her videos, she says, I do this when I want a quick fix if I haven't got much time and I know I'm going to hit the beach. Yeah. And you see a, an immediate tone. A pop of muscles. Yeah, toning. Yeah. With it, within. Within within the first days, yeah, yeah the first if you few days. Continue, I don't know, if you keep it up. So that's something that um, I will do. Tijan will do. Lily will do as well. Um, Tijan's sister, and uh, it's quick. And I think that's why I love it so you much. You can fit it in easily. You don't, yeah, you don't have to go get into your no, gym clothes, walk to the gym, drive to the gym, come home, do it, fit it in. If you're if you're a new mother with you know young children. It's a great way of just being able to fit in a little bit of time, or if you're just really time poor anyway, as I am, yeah. or or actually quite lazy. Yeah, yeah, like, like I am. <laughs> so Tijan, uh, if we were going to be talking about going away and wanting to enjoy the process, what other tips would you have? I think actually something as small as just having your nails done mm, can make you feel, feel very amazing. ready and more prepared. And there's the times that I've gone away and done my nails myself, or the times I've gone and actually had a shellac done, I feel so much more together when I know that my nails are not going to chip at all and just stay looking really nice and the colour's not going to go weird on the beach. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that can really help. Because it's not just about being in a bikini, is it? Because you are away and you can wear beach cover-ups, so it shouldn't be just about yeah. making your body ready. You want to make sure everything mm -hmm. else is looking and feeling nice and fresh because you're away from home and you don't have access to the same things you would at home so it's nice to be yeah, ready. I think so and shellac of course is a great option because if you do go to the beach I mean people obviously would choose all sorts of different holidays but so when I just do a normal manicure with just normal nail yeah. varnish you get these black spots from, yeah, from the sand, from the sand. Yeah. so shellac is a really great way and of course you have to do the same on your toes as well that's something I would really agree with you and another thing which people have really divided opinions on I did it last year, um, eyelash extensions. Oh yeah, eyelash extensions. They can really make you feel as if your eyes just pop and you don't have to put any um, mascara on and you wake up Especially and feel... Especially if you're fair, fair, fair head. Yes, yeah, I mean my lashes are really pale and I look as if I, well I just don't have any lashes. Yeah. Or, and if I don't tint my eyebrows I have the same. I did it last summer and I felt really good. It made me feel really glamorous. I didn't have the best experience after actually because I think no, the lashes were too heavy and uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I, I would for a two week period, three weeks maximum, then take them off and don't redo. So those are little tips and other things, uh, as you said, rather than just concentrating on the perfect honed body, get a few lovely cover-ups. Um, I know Accessorize have got a really good sale on at the moment actually. I saw some really lovely lovely caftan tunics and beautiful well, colours. Outnet as well, like Miss Eau de Bash. Exactly, and ASOS. So you want to be thinking of putting on really lovely cover-ups, great big yeah. hats. Yes, yes, a good, a nice big hat. Maybe a nice... Protect your hair. Yeah, a, a nice straw beach what bag. I need to do, yeah. Kindle. Big, yes, Kindle's really important. Need good a pair of sunglasses. Yeah. Maybe not your London or city or normal sunglasses maybe just a new pair that will make you feel different yeah. 
Because oh. sunglasses really do shape your face, don't they? So if you have a new pair, it makes everything feel it fresher. It changes up the look, particularly yeah. if you're wearing lighter colours yeah. and more floral. So I'd say not to overpack, because then when you come home and you've got a suitcase full of crumpled clothes that oh, haven't yeah. been worn, it's a bit sad, isn't it? Actually, that's, that's, that's a really, really good That's really sad, because when you come home, you just want to put everything in the wash. You don't want to have to think about things that haven't even been worn, mm. but are still like little shriveled. Yes, because they've been sitting in your suitcase for I, over a week. I think we're all guilty of thinking, oh, I might need this, I might need yeah. that. I think if you're but going take, away... Take more accessories then so you don't have to worry about the clothes when you come back. But I think you could get one, one good pair of heels, maybe wedges or... You know, you something should take like the different chunky. variations of shoes, like a flat yes, sandal flat, or a flat trainer. Flat and, and heel, but you don't need three or four pairs of heels. That's exactly. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and so travelling light does make it less stressful, much less stressful. Mm. But if you manage to find a good pair of shoes that will go with most of your maxi dresses or whatever, and some it it cool flip-flops, um, these things, streamlining it gets you less stressed in going mm. away. But as I said, selecting the, a few things that just make you feel like they're fresh and new. Accessorising with really nice necklaces, yeah. Zara. Um, Zara's great. Yeah, Zara's really like the best good for things for like statement necklaces and jewellery. Exactly, really you can't, can't go wrong. So that's, that's really, that's it, that's it I think. I mean, uh, it, it's interesting as well because we've both got a similar viewpoint on this and, mm. you know, completely different Also age don't, group. don't get a haircut before you go away, have a haircut after because your, your hair gets so much more damaged when it's away. So Very try and not do any hair appointments. You could do colour before you go away if you want it to get lighter, but in terms of a haircut, wait until you finish your summer holidays mm. to get all the and chlorine and whatever else they don't even have chlorine swimming pools anymore but you know just all the damage out of your hair from the sun it's better to do a haircut once you're home very good point mm. so yes back to that i hope this has been useful um anything else you'd like us to oh not us obviously sorry me <laughs> because this is my channel anything else that you'd like me to talk about specifically in any upcoming videos do please let me know and do like if you've liked this. I really enjoyed doing this with you, Tijan. Thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. And um, please subscribe if you haven't done already. Um, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.